fellow members and guests, my name is Ray, and I'm a professional coach. Um, for those of you that don't know what coaches do, is we help people grow. When I started my coaching practice last year, I probably toyed around with about 100 names, and I ended up landing on Leap, Trust, Thrive. I don't know why, at the time I didn't know why I did it, it just kind of felt right. As a coach, I often tell people that you don't need to know how to get somewhere, you just need to know where you want to be, and the rest will work itself out. Looking back at some of the most significant experiences in my life, bartending, traveling, and coach training, I know this is true. Um, becoming a bartender was a huge experience for me. Uh, I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I remember thinking, I'm looking for a job that I can do while I'm traveling. And uh, talking to some friends and family, um, bartending came up. And I, we talked a little more about it. I was like, it's booze money, girls, I just thought, fantastic, well, why not? Um, I didn't know how I was going to get there, I just knew I wanted to do it. That day I decided. Within a week, a friend of mine called me up and said, I just worked, started working at a bar and we uh, need someone to promote. Well, would you be interested? And I knew I didn't want to promote, but I knew that it could be an opportunity, so I leaped towards it. I spent probably the first couple of weeks just trying to sell myself to the owner to let me bartend, and he probably turned me down six or seven times. Finally, he gave in, probably just to shut me up, but I took it. Uh, that turned out to be a huge experience for me. It, uh, it gave me so many opportunities, and I learned to learn a lot about myself, learned how to deal with people, learned about myself, and it just provided me with countless opportunities. But it didn't happen until I decided I wanted to do it, and I leaped towards it. The next significant experience in my life was traveling. Now, uh, I met some exchange students about uh, two, two years ago now, and they came back to visit me, and they were from Australia. And when they came back to visit me, they were like, hey, you know what, you should just come out with us. And I was getting ready to graduate at the time, and I was like, oh, I don't have money for that. That sounds great, but I don't have money for that. And they're like, you know, we're going to be off for a month, it's a good place to stay, just come out, figure it out. And I was like, you know what, I know I want to do this, I don't know how, but I'm just going to do it. So I bought my ticket, non refundable and ate ramen for the next month and a half. <laughs> a lot of ramen. Uh, and then um, after that month and a half, I just went on the trip. And I ran out of money probably two weeks into the trip. I didn't know how I was going to do things. And I ended up even sleeping on a beach one time with a friend. And we were just like, cool. But I lived through it, and I draw on that experience constantly. The next big thing that I did was coach training. Now, this was a big leap for me because I debated a long time on getting my master's. And um, I know I've always wanted to get a master's, and I've always wanted to be a coach. And I was like, oh, what should I do? Both were pretty damn expensive. And so finally I decided, you know what? After interviewing tons of coaches, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. And that was a huge leap of faith. And even going through all of that, I mean, my life has transformed dramatically since then. And, I mean, I remember all the ups and downs. I remember, you know, thinking, am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to make money at this? And it's even, like, feasible. And all these crazy thoughts. And I just trusted, you know, I know it's what I want to do. And I can't even explain on how much my life has changed since then. Um, this brings me back to uh, the end of my, uh, or back to my name. I didn't know why at the time. I went with Leap Trust Five, but I, I do now. And Leap is to, uh, it's kind of something that's always been with me. Leap is to fiercely and courageously go after what you really want. Not only reach for it, but leap towards it. And when you do that, sometimes you're going to rock the boat. You're going to really rock the boat. That's when you have to trust. Trust yourself and trust your heart's desire and what you really want. And this is oftentimes the hardest part. But trust that if you fall in that water, trust your ability to swim. And thrive, being open to any, being open to any growing and learning that may come regardless of the outcome. So Leap Trust Thrive, is, it's worked for me. So I hope it can work for you. Thank you.